I'm sure you maybe heard of this quote, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. That's from Nietzsche and the main point is, if you have a reason for living, then no matter how difficult it gets, you can endure any of it and all of it. And I was having a conversation with my friend Chase this morning and he said, do you have a why for making your videos? And I thought about it carefully and I thought, well, I always thought that I enjoyed making videos and I want to make a living out of it. And he said that is a very weak why. Chase is also a YouTuber, Grand Kielbasa, and he said that for him, making his videos is so that he can teach kids who've had a fucked up childhood to have a better life. And that's what gets him up in the morning. That's what excites him when he goes to sleep at night. So Chase was saying, what value can you provide to others? What value do you want to provide to others? What would the world be lacking of if you weren't in the world? What is something that you bring to the world? What is something that you want to bring to the world? And so I was thinking about this during my walk as well. Chase, you told me to think about my why, why I'm making videos. And I don't have a really strong why, so I'm thinking about it. But I don't think I'm gonna come up with anything solid anytime soon. I've just been walking for a while and nothing's really coming to mind, so we'll see. I couldn't really pinpoint a strong why. The only thing that came into my mind is just like Randy Posh teaching his last lecture at Carnegie Mellon University so that he could just leave this message to his children. I thought, yeah, if I could leave my videos for my children to watch, that would be nice. But the funny thing is, I don't even want children. It's funny that I still have this desire. And let me tell you something, since I was pretty young, whenever I learned something, I would automatically imagine teaching it to my kid, whatever lesson it was, no matter how small. And this was just kind of an automatic fantasy. And then later I realized that I don't actually want kids, but I still have this fantasy of teaching my kids, even if they're never to be born. So I've been thinking about about this actively and in the back of my mind for the whole day and honestly I can't really think of a strong why but as Arnold Schwarzenegger said in his book be useful when you don't have a strong why start with doing things daily and building up healthy habits that you want to build and just focus on building yourself up day to day I think the why might come eventually as I keep improving myself do you have a strong why to live or to do something important to you it's easy to say a why if you have children or something like that and say well I have to live for my children or I have to do well for my children but if you don't have children your personal why may not be so obvious and it may be more ephemeral and I can't pinpoint mine anyways food for thought I'll keep thinking about it at the back of my mind in the future this is the second video that I'm posting today the first one that I just posted right now was about how I fell out of love with video games I finally posted it but I'm pretty proud of how the script turned out even if it's not the original vision that I had for my video, I think it still turned out pretty well, so I'm happy with it. See you tomorrow, 1% better every day, baby. So cute. Watch. <laughs> Watch a cute. Take a cute.